So my name is Salvatore Salpietro. Sal works. Um, the chief partnership officer here at Fundraise Up had a number of different roles as, as I, I was with the company since employee one through now we have almost 80. So we're going to talk a bit here about mobile and express payment options and the impact on online giving. This ties into that UI UX conversation there because this is about UI and UX and companies that are for profit pour millions of dollars even per company in specifically that. So mobile and express wallets, right? We know what they are. They were already cool. The pandemic made them necessary. And for nonprofits, that means more customers pay with mobile and express payment options. Therefore, more donors can now give without needing a physical credit card. A couple of logos you might recognize there. Just to set the scene here, conversion rates, right? So conversion rates are what uh, determine how much online digital revenue we're going to be generating. And that means the number of people that go to do something and the number of people that finish. That's the conversion rate. So how we can make sure that a, a, a donation happens is deliver the emotion, don't distract, reduce keystrokes, make it simple, make it easy. And that's exactly what mobile and express payment methods do. Here's one impact of having PayPal. We looked at millions of donations. All of these are based on millions of donations that we looked at through here in our data analysis team. Just by seeing PayPal on your checkout, you're going to have about 10% more donations. Okay, so that's, that's one of the metrics we see. Uh, this can swing depending on donor base. However, the rate increases. And if you have PayPal, about 20% will choose it. This means the takeaway, about 10% of donors have... will leave if you don't have PayPal. Okay, so that math there, 10% conversion rate increase, 20% choose it, 10% are leaving if you don't have PayPal. Apple Pay and Google Pay. If you have these GPay on, on your website, on your donation form, what some, does some research tell us here? It tells us that Apple Pay and Google Pay are primarily mobile-based. We see much higher conversion rates there, that green bar uh, on lower gift sizes through mobile devices. Mobile payment methods add relationships and dollars to the nonprofit that you otherwise wouldn't have had. Okay, so that's uh, some quick takeaways on the conversion rates on mobile and in the lower value gift sizes, which are good because otherwise they may not have given. More payment methods get used. So looking again at millions of donations, only 65% are using a credit card to give from our ecosystem that offers Apple Pay, et cetera. So offering the right method for the right gift catapults giving revenue. And some of these payment methods are more adapted for smaller size gifts, right? Apple Pay, Google Pay, millennials, people on the run, younger demographics. Apple Pay, I see that. I know you're talking to my generation. I'm going to give, but I got 25 bucks, right? Whereas a plaid or ACH I mean, or uh, uh, a pre authorized debit, much higher gift values. And those are used for those. So it's about having the right payment methods there. A common unexpected outcome, and some of the data heads here will, will get this, uh, your average gift size might drop when you have these payment methods. That's okay. It's a weird metric, but you have to have other data points to support average gift size. So it may go down, but if your revenue goes up, that means you're getting more mobile and or younger donors. Okay. If not private technology, receive the same obsessive focus on conversion and revenue as for profit, what would the world look like? And we can do better as nonprofits. Here's an example of something that we do with uh, one of our nonprofits. You can see the different payment methods uh, available there. Quick homework for the team, whoever's interested, donationpagefriction.com. 